The lost egg. Owl had just awakened from his noon day nap when he heard a strange sound. It was a thump. Who was that, he wondered. He looked around from his perch in the trees. No one was in sight. Who, he asked. And then he looked with his sharp owl eyes and saw on the floor of his forest a large white egg. Who? he asked again, but no one answered. Sir Owl flew down to take a closer look. It was indeed an egg, but where had it come from? As Owl was studying the big beautiful egg, Merle popped up from beneath the earth. Whose egg is this? asked Owl. Merle squinted his little eyes, peered at the egg. Maybe it's my egg, he said. Silly Mole, said Owl. Moles don't lay eggs. Oh, said Mole. You are right, Owl. I suppose it can't be my egg. Whose egg is it? Owl called again. Who? Rabbit heard Owl's calls, so he stopped nibbling on the little green leaves and hop, hop, hopped up to the egg. He wiggled his nose and gave the egg a sniff. This egg might belong to me, he said, after one more sniff. <laughs> you know, I bring pretty eggs like this to the children in the spring, and it could be mine. Rabbit, said Owl, this is not your egg. Spring is over now, and it is summer in the forest. This egg belongs to someone else. Who? Toad heard Owl's question from his rock in the pond and hopped over to investigate. He blinked his large toad eyes and gazed at the egg. Toads lay eggs, he announced. Toads lay eggs in the pond. This egg could belong to me. Owl looked down at Toad with his wise owl eyes. Toad, he said, it is true that toads lay eggs in the pond, but this is not your egg. Toad eggs are very tiny and this egg is very large. It is not your egg. After further examination of the big beautiful egg, Toad announced, You are right actually Owl, it's not my egg. Squirrel, who had heard the commotion from his favourite tree limb, scampered down and began to jump to and fro around the egg. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine! He chattered loudly. Squirrel, said Owl in his wisest tone, this egg is as big as you are. It simply cannot be your egg. Right, 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 you are again, Owl. It is not my egg, he chattered. And he quickly scampered back up to his favourite tree limp to see just who else would come along to claim the egg. Badger was wandering through the forest looking for his favourite dinner of eggs when he heard Owl calling. So he crept over to investigate. Hmm, he said, I love eggs. I was just looking for an egg for my dinner when I heard your question, Owl. This is my egg and I'm going to eat it right now. No, cried all the animals. This is not your egg. Suddenly, there came from the egg a tapping sound and a tiny crack appeared. The animals were frightened and slowly backed away. Even Badger was a little afraid of the strange sound. I guess you are right, Owl, said Badger. The eggs I like do not make any sounds at all. The tapping continued and the cracks began to get bigger and bigger. And all at once the animals heard a loud swishing sound from the forest canopy. They looked up in time to see a large eagle flying down out of the trees. She landed right by the egg and her eagle eyes were sharp and bright. Don't touch that egg, she cried in a shrill sharp voice. This is my egg. 
I was searching high above the forest when I heard owls call. A big wind came along and blew my egg right out of my nest. The mother eagle gently placed her great wings around the egg and the tapping became louder and louder. All at once, the egg popped open and a baby eagle rolled out. He looked up at his mother and cried, Mama! My baby, said the eagle, and the baby and his mama kissed each other with their beaks. All of the animals were happy that Mother Eagle had found her baby and that the baby eagle had found his mother. I must get my baby back to my nest, said Eagle, but I don't know how to fly and carry my baby at the same time. Then the wise old owl spoke up. I have an idea, he said. I can wrap the baby up in my wings, climb on your back, and then you can fly the two of us up to your nest. Excellent idea, owl, said Mother Eagle, but you must promise not to hurt my baby on the way. I promise, said Owl, and he wrapped the baby eagle in his wings and hopped onto the back of Mother Eagle. Here we go, said the Mother Eagle, and she flapped her large, strong wings and soared high up into the trees of the forest. Goodbye, baby eagle, cried all the forest animals. We are glad your mother found you. All the animals were happy, except for Badger. Hmm! He cried, I almost had an exciting, delicious dinner. Then he ran off into the forest, looking for something else to eat. The end. <laughs>